Now, what if we froze the whole Earth solid and threw that at the sun? Same story. The ice would start to vaporize from the outside as it approached, turning into a vast cloud of steam and dispersing. And even if some of it actually hit the sun, the effect would still be weaker than an ant bumping into a person. So, how many Earths would you have to freeze and throw to have even a small effect on the sun? The sun's mass is about 330,000 times Earths. Do the math, and you'd need to throw about 951 Earths all at once just to dim the sun by 1%. So how many would it take to put the sun out entirely? Here's the important fact. In practical terms, completely extinguishing the sun is impossible. Even throwing 100,000 Earths at it wouldn't put the sun out. In fact, the sun would likely get brighter. Ice and rock vaporize long before impact, supplying hydrogen and oxygen to the sun and actually promoting fusion. The sun wouldn't go out. It would probably flare up instead. The only ways to turn the sun off are to collapse it into a black hole or to wait billions of years for the star to burn through its fuel naturally.